what up? This is Rama Screen for Rings. I'm in the Blu-ray and I'm here with director Javier. How are you doing? Hi, hello. Very good. Thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, congratulations on the film. Let me ask you this. Uh, it's been more than a decade since the first and second film and then of course longer based on the Japanese work. Yeah. Uh, did you feel it to be a daunting task when you take this on the first? Like, oh man, I got to take on the third installment. How was it? How do you feel for you? Uh, well, it is. Uh, I was very big fan of the first Ring movie. The, of course, the Hideo Nakata, the Japanese one, but uh, the Gorbavinsky one too. I thought it was like an amazing movie. So uh, when they told me about taking the helm and direct this movie, I felt first the responsibility, right? Because it's like you know. I mean, it was like a, a big deal for me. That movie was beautifully made and everything. But then, as well, the fun that was inside me had like a lot of, you know, fun with this uh, idea of working on, on a movie with Samara Morgan and try to um, explore the roots of the franchise somehow because this movie is like a key element if, if you have seen the other ones. Uh, uh, regarding the the background of Samara Morgan, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so it was a temptation. I I couldn't say no. I mean, it was I knew it was gonna be tough. It's gonna it's gonna be after all these years. There's some concepts from the Japanese culture that for us now are harder to buy, mm -hmm. but it was part of the challenge. So I went for it. Nice. <laughs> and as a horror fan, love the movie. Very terrifying. So. Um, how do you make sure that it comes off fresh uh, for the audience, you know, of 2017, and also um, working with uh, newer faces, not Naomi Watts, of course, Johnny Galecki, you know, yeah. Alex Rowe, and all those guys. Uh, can you talk a bit about that? Yeah, well, I think uh, the whole idea from day one when they came to me, like uh, the producers, uh, was like we want to to somehow upgrade the the franchise and mm. give uh, new faces. Uh, we want forget we want to still be respectful with the first movie right because mm. we, we are talking about the character of Samara but we want to introduce new characters to have like a, a whole new different vibe and so that was very interesting and at the same time because of the technology we have in our wall now all the things going on with you know with the tablets with the iPhones with everything it gives you a lot of chances and possibilities to explore ideas out of the box right mm. um, in this movie, we we went halfway through that. We didn't want to reveal everything, all the ideas regarding technology, because we were um, thinking, focus on this one in the roots of the franchise and give a hint of that. So in the next chapter, if we make a, a next chapter, uh, we can go for it, right? And so it was like uh, it was exciting. It was a challenge too, you know. Uh, and as you say, after 20 years, uh, the sensitivity of the audiences have changed. They are used to another kind of movies. This movie was uh, somehow trying to recover the feeling of the first movie that was more like a thriller with uh, horror elements, uh, disturbing images. So I think we, we tried to keep the balance between all of us, the producers, the team. And uh, well, it was an exciting adventure too. Last yeah. question. I can't wait to check out the Blu-rays coming up. Congratulations on that. So, Thank you. Um, where will Samara's story be happening next? If there is a, another installment, where which where do you think the, the mythology should be taken next? Which well, direction? Well, I, I think probably. I mean, uh, I, we left a lot of doors open in mm -hmm. this one to explore. We have. I don't want to do a spoilers just in case <laughs> somebody hasn't seen the movies. So, we have a concept connected with the character of Julia, that is out there, that we can go in that direction. We have one of the main things that I, I couldn't explore in this one, but I, uh, because again, we were more focused on the, on the roots of Samara Morgan and everything. But I think all the producers agreed that we wanted to explore further is um, the viral situation of, of the video, what will happen right now, right? So in this one, we have a hand of that and play with that a little bit in the movie, but I think that's the direction we go probably in the franchise to go out there and, and go crazy. All right, well, thank you so much, Javier. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank and you. Check out Rings on Blu ray. Let's rock this.